When South Dakota rancher Troy Hadrick and his cousins took over management of the family cow herd from their father's generation, they set their sights on improving carcass quality. I didn't even know quite where we were in our carcass genetics because we hadn't retained ownership before. And so that became a focus of the AI bulls that we were using, um, which obviously meant we were focusing a lot on the EPDs that uh, the Angus Association puts together. And so we started selecting for that, um, started changing our uh, AI program to where we were AIing all the keffers and the cows. Every cow in the place was, was getting that done now. We hadn't been able to do that before. but. We were able to track what happened when we were when we started using you know the better genetics that were shown and proven to improve carcass ability or carcass traits. Three years worth of carcass data shows a jump from 90% choice and zero primes up to all choice and higher, 80% of them qualifying for the certified Angus beef brand and 20% primes. It was really amazing to me. I really thought it would take us at least 10 to 12 years to get to that point. And when we used the, the GeneMax data and combined it with an AI program that focused on those traits, we were able to accomplish it in about three, four years. The switch to AI came first as the way to get better genetics in more females. Then came the genomic testing. What I decided was I was going to have this year where I had genomic data and then I had carcass data and was going to give me a chance to apply it back and see if it matched up. And after that first year, we got both those sets of data and we put them next to each other and it became very obvious that, uh, you know, they matched. And it was really exciting then because like, wow, we can really use this for our roadmap. And as we've tracked what those cattle are worth as we move through the years now, you know, the, the calves that we would have killed that first year versus where we're at now, we've added over $5 per hundred weight in value to those carcasses hanging on the rail. But what has marbling emphasis done to the cow herd? Hadra keeps track of pregnancy rate, mature size, and other measures too. All of the numbers tell us that we haven't really given anything up, um, but the, the traits that pay us a lot more at the end, uh, which is marbling, um, have increased a lot. And so we've made our cattle more valuable um, by using these technologies. Seeing how it pays, the long-term cow herd goal is to get as many CABs and primes as possible. I'm Clint Mefford.